Welcome, woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. There are many genres of Japanese prints. Warrior prints, musha-e, prints of famous places, meisho-e, prints of beautiful women, bijin-ga, actor prints, yakusha-e, bird and flower prints, kacho-ga. But how many of you are familiar with prints that promoted popular restaurants? Let's call them kaiseki-e, or pictures of Japanese restaurants. On the surface, popular restaurants may seem like a frivolous topic for an ukiyo-e master to depict. But think of the emphasis today on good food, the new restaurants in town, the best places to eat, the top chefs, good cuisine. It's always been a trendy topic for cultures around the globe. Many top Japanese artists created series of restaurant-themed prints. For example, Hiroshige, Yoshitoshi, Kunichika, Yoshiiku, Kunisada, Kuniyoshi, Eisen, and others. Today we're going to take a deeper dive into a series of restaurant-themed prints, a collaboration by two of the giants of ukiyo-e, Kunisada and Hiroshige. There are 50 prints in this series called Famous Restaurants from the Eastern Capital, published by Fuji Okaya Keijiro in 1852. I want you to cast your mind back 170 years ago and imagine a woodblock print publisher approaching a popular Tokyo restaurant. He pitches them of paying to have their restaurant included in a woodblock print the restaurant owner is skeptical at first, but then the publisher tells him he has access to a famous kabuki actor that will also be featured in the print. And not only that, but also the top woodblock print artists of the day will design the print. The print will appeal to people who go to trendy restaurants, fans of the actor, and fans of the artists. It's a win-win. It's great publicity for the restaurant, the actor gets exposure, and the artists and the publisher all make money. Okay, with that set up in mind, let's dive into this Kunisada Hiroshige collaborative series. First, we'll dissect one of these prints. The prints are vertical format, oban size. Hiroshige designed the images at the top of the print. These were landscapes that were probably near the restaurant and still lifes or scenes from the actual restaurant. In the foreground, Kunisada designed the kabuki actor image in one of his famous roles. We have Kunisada's signature, the censor seals. The title of the series, Famous Restaurants from the Eastern Capital, is in a large black cartouche in the upper right-hand corner. Then in the smaller red block, we have the actor's role, and then the publisher's seal. Fun fact, below Hiroshige's signature, we see this red symbol. This is actually a combination of the katakana symbols for he and ro. Hiroshige just combined the two symbols, rotated it, and made this cool he ro symbol, which is a reference to his name, Hiroshige. Now let's look at some of these restaurant prints in more detail. Let's start with my favorite print from the series, the Hirase Restaurant, with actor Nakamura Utayaman IV as Taira no Kiyomori. He was a military leader and politician of the late Heian period of Japan. At the end of his life, it said he had a raging fever and hallucinated the ghosts of all of the enemies he'd killed. This print is unusual because the actor is looking at us straight on, rather than the usual three-quarters view. At the top of the print, Hiroshige gives us either a view from the restaurant or a view of the restaurant exterior. Next, we have the En Ente restaurant with actor Takasuke III as Nagoya Sanza. The images by Hiroshige at the top show perhaps a view from the restaurant with the swallows flying. And then there's a plate of what looks like delicious sushi. 
the actor is playing the role of the disgraced samurai Nagoya Sanza. He was banished from his clan after a valuable scroll in his care was stolen. This is the Uota restaurant with actor Ichikawa Ebizo V as Taro Zayamon. The intense looking actor is playing the tragic retainer of the Hojo clan who made the difficult decision to sacrifice his grandson. In Hiroshige's images, we see fish cakes or maybe daikon, and then a boat that could be the way to travel to the restaurant, since many of the restaurants were also accessible by water. Next, we have the Huta Bate restaurant, the actor Ichikawa Shinsha playing the role of Aoi no Mae, a ghost. She had been a general in the Genji army. And when an ancient sword is discovered near the site of an old battlefield, her spirit is reawakened. At the top of the print, Hiroshige has just one larger image, probably a landscape close to the restaurant. Here we see the restaurant Ofuji and the actor Bando Mitsugoro III as the fox Tadanobu. He's playing a fox spirit who impersonates Tadanobu who was a retainer of Yoshitsune from the play Yoshitsune and the Thousand Cherry Trees. At the top, the images by Hiroshige, the left-hand image shows the exterior of the restaurant and the right-hand image illustrates the uh, Furukawa River. Appropriately, I believe, this restaurant's specialty was unagi. I love unagi. Unagi is also called fox eel and they probably fished it from the Furukawa River. There are 50 prints in this series and I wish I had the time and energy to go through them all for you. I don't, but I do have the energy to show you some more images of food from this series. At the Amatsu Nozushi restaurant, we can see a nice arrangement of little plates on a tray. I'm not sure what's in those wrapped boxes. The Sugisaka restaurant serves fresh fish in a bamboo bowl with ginger and wasabi. The Tagasode restaurant has a wooden bento box with a variety of meat and vegetables. At the Koshuya restaurant, we can dine on fish with fresh ginger and vegetables. And the Kayabacho restaurant serves this delicious meal of meat and vegetables on three different style plates. Wouldn't it be amazing to go back to Old Edo and try these popular restaurants? By the way, the Museum of Fine Arts Boston has many of these prints in its collection. I have about 10 of them in the Mia Gallery. If you're lucky, you can find them for sale online or at auction for about $300 to $500 or $600. Until next time, stay hungry and happy collecting.